Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we have created this URL mode recording script. And this URL mode recording, we have all these uh, APIs that we are, we, are, we are calling. Let's run this script. Okay. And now it looks like the script is running. Okay, great. So now the script is finished and is saying that script is passed. And you can see the test result by clicking on this link. So this is the result window and you can exactly see what is the action summaries like whenever we run this U U web URL module the result is something like this so this is where you can see in the GUI mode the the page so this page looks good right and similarly like you know if you go to uh, login so this looks like the login page and so this is correct not a problem and then when you submit data you know you go to the you logged in and as you see that you are logged in as teacher one and then you browse to the test course and here you are trying to log out but look at this log out it, like you know, whenever you log out you do not see this kind of thing that you are logged in as teacher one like say for example this is the browser and let if I do log out then then I'm going to see something you are not logged in however whenever you run the script we are not really seeing same behavior whatever we are seeing on the browser on the browser it logged out it says that you are not logged in anymore however in the test run we are seeing something and he said do you want to really log out so that means this log out operation didn't succeed the the user is logged in all right so what is going wrong so let's try to analyze what is going wrong to make my things a little bit of uh, easier what I'm going to do I'm going to remove this unnecessary calls like you know, these are the basically these are the CSS calls and all those things right so I don't really need this thing okay so for a temporarily let's remove this all this web okay so what I did I just clean up those image file CSS file and JavaScript files and so that I can I can analyze the script a little bit better so so here we went to the, the index page and here we log in here we submit data on that form and then we move to the test course and we are logging out and when we are logging out if you look at the parameter that parameter is URL is equal to something like this and then there is something says key equal to some random string so what does it mean so so this is how Moodle works so this is your say login so this is your user ID and this is the password and let's say this is the server so this is the server and the moment you use a submit button the user is going to validate it and then the server is going to return a key and that key is called session key okay and in future the server is going to recognize this client by this session key and this session key is randomly generated string and that string does look like something similar to whatever we are seeing here all right so so if that is the case let's say I log in first time while recording so while recording when I log in I got a session key and let's say that session key is one two three when I replay when I replay the script I going to I'm going to log in again so therefore I'm going to get a session key that is something not one two three let's say that is three four one so that means whenever I'm during the replaying I'm creating a new session and whatever session ID that session ID I must pass in logout otherwise it's not going to log you out okay so that is the reason why logout is failing here okay so because because we are not passing the right session key okay and this session key was generated during the record time so this is the problem what is the solution so let's take a look at the solution here so let's try to log in say so now it's so by 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 clicking on that login what happened the client send the browser the user ID and password and the browser validated that this is the right user ID and password and therefore it says that okay you are allowed and I am going to give you a session key and that session key is returned 
to the client how do you see that session key you just click on get the page source and search for something called session okay so this is the session key and the session key now is something else okay so this is the session key that got generated for this session all right so that means the session key is available just after we do the web submit so basically after submitting the data you are getting the whatever response you are getting if you look for that response and then you can do some sort of pattern matching so that you will ignore this part and you will ignore this part then whatever remaining that is what is your session key so if you get that session basically you if you parse this html file and figure out what is a session key and put that session key into a variable and use that variable here okay so instead of this constant value whatever you are giving you use the parameter or variable whatever you got at this step okay so essentially what you did you correlate okay so essentially you correlate the value and use that value and this is in in load runner called correlation all right and to do correlation what you can do you can do yourself like you know programmatically also load runner gives an automated way to do that just click on the design studio and see what's going on you will see something called correlation studio vu gen recognizes that this value is dynamic and that can be correlated all right and if you click on this so this is found in step number 54 so if you go to step number 54 so this is what the value and what load owner is saying that looking at the logs that 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 it got it realized that it can find a correlation for this okay and the moment you hit correlate is doing something for you and let's see what it did for you so this is what it did before web submit data it it call an api and that api name is web res set parameter ex and in that we have a parameter name correlates correlation parameter this you can give xyz abc whatever then it gives you two more value one is called left bound another is called right bound in left bound what is going to see is going to look at this at this at this html file and looks for the left bound that is this much and right bound this much so basically wherever it found a left and right whatever the value that that contain in between the left bound and right bound that will be taken and kept on a parameter and that parameter name is correlation parameter okay and this you know this this class are given just to escape that uh, double quote what load runner did load runner call load runner register a parameter and that parameter name is correlation parameter and 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 at this time at at as line number 31 the parameter is not nothing is there in the parameter however when it will call the web submit data and the moment it goes to the execution control goes to line number 52 then what happened is that this correlation parameter has been substituted by actual value and what is that actual value that actual value is this much okay and then what's going to happen this correlation parameter is going to be used like remember that uh, see like that the dynamic value is no more instead of that we are putting a parameter here and this parameter has already like whatever value that we got whatever value that we got from the server after we submit the data that value will be here so let's run the script and see what's going on okay so the script is passed and let's see the test result and see so now he's saying that you are no more logged in okay so this is what we're supposed to see so this is the behavior we are, ex we are expecting in the first place so this is what you learn is correlation and this is just a trailer 
I'm going to show you the full chapter down the line on correlation how correlation is going to be extremely helpful to to take care of this dynamic values that servers used to send okay and we will capture those values and we'll use those values at some later point of time exactly the way that we did here so so this is what all about correlation and the problem that we saw can be resolved by correlation